G-Rex run another one Um, last little new thing I have here, <sighs> taking another shot, Roni put out a little, he's been putting out a couple of tracks, but he put out one track, uh, going at five, mm. going at Pedro. It was a little like shot. I can't remember what he said. It was a while back. And I put this like, it was one of my first news stories, but, um, <sighs> I just feel like, what was it like, was it needed? So you're talking about the beatbox remix you're talking about? No, that was a, that was actually dope, though. That freestyle was actually dope. But he put it out on his page. You got to see it on his page. It was one of those little, you know how they have the MP3 with a little name on it? Mm -hmm. Let me pull them up right here. Shout out Did Roni, man. He's been going freaking yeah. hard. Oh, freaking since last year. In front of scope, I got a beam. Put him in dirt like he was. You heard that? Wow. Wow. Yo, dude. that boy Ron, he's a fucking problem, bro. The beast. Yo, he him? He better not yo, you guys better not hope he don't get signed or something, because he's out of here with mm. that flow, with them bars. You better hope nobody like that nigga's rapping like that? Even if he doesn't get big himself, if somebody finds him, yo, fam, ghost right for somebody. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He'll, Roni will be good regardless. But going back to the little uh, thing there, I didn't like that. I, I, Why not? Timing, man. Why? Because he's inside? Kicking niggas when you're down. Toronto niggas shit. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it, it's timing. I would have been cool with it if if he did it before. Mm. I had no problem with it. And again, I'm not encouraging the, the beef thing. Or Again, if it's music, I'm cool with it. Yeah. But I just feel like the timing was off. I, I felt like it was that wasn't needed now, man. Too soon? I mean, too soon. <laughs> As they say, too yeah. soon? I wouldn't even say it's a too soon thing. It was You could have did it sooner. Yeah, you could have put that out sooner. Maybe that's how he felt recently. <laughs> but it's... And again, I'm, listen, it's I'm not condoning thing. of it neither. But he was getting at him in the academics live real fucking tough. Oh, trying yeah. to make him look bad. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I'm i not defending any side. But if I was in his shoes, I'd feel the same fucking way. Don't get me wrong. I'm not defending five. Mm. I think for me, it's the bigger situation. Even if it's not Roni. Like, if it, this was anyone... I just feel like the timing of like kicking a nigga when he's down, when it's music wise, I feel like yo, let him come out, then drop that on him. Yeah. But I guess you know I'm not an artist, so I don't even know. Like you know what I mean? I I never actually planned and said, hey, you know, like let me put out a track and oh that nigga don't like me or that nigga said something to me, boom, let me hit him with this track that I got mm. because he got locked or boom, let me get this one because he got his chain snatched or boom, let me hit like. Listen, Toronto niggas go Mob deep shit. dropped. Drop a gem on him, which was a diss to Tupac, Tupac, after he died. I don't know fuck with Bob Deep like that, but that's foul. That's foul shit. So, were you saying they were, they were, they were, they were the original op talkers or smoking on dead ops yeah, and shit like they, that? They made it before, but they were like, put it on the album anyway. Let it fly. It. And the nigga was dead. <sighs> R.I.P. Tupac. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Talking about him getting raped in jail and Ray Tay Tay. And the man's in his grave, fam. Church didn't like that shit right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Church, Church didn't appreciate that shit. Sometimes you got to let it fly, bro. Yeah, I guess I'm not a rapper, so I can't really speak on rapper terms. As a fan, that would be my thingy. Mm. That would be my feel or take on it. Uh, Last little, uh, last news thing that I have here. Sorry. The NFT. This thing has been blowing up. Um, I learned some about it. Shout out, you know, our, our boy them at the Joe De Joe Button podcast. I seen mm -hmm. like they were trying to break that down, and I seen like I believe Tory's album got an NFT, and Killy did something where he he made like a whole bunch of money on an NFT. Now, nice. I guess I can explain it to the people that don't know. I don't even know if I can explain it properly. I apologize. 
But I guess like a NFT is like this new form of currency, like a cryptocurrency, but like for videos now. So if you got a video or a music video, or I guess the best way to kind of explain it is through the basketball week. because it's I like, can give you the terminology that I was popping up here. There you go. Better. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. From Google, it says NFT stands for not, non fundable token fundable meaning or sorry not fundable it's a fungible token fungible meaning exchangeable mm. right a movie ticket is a fungible you can give it to anyone else to use mm. um what's an nft and continue well from what i was getting from it like i remember seeing this basketball thing i think it's top shot Mm -hmm. And that's the best way I can do with it with like you can own a clip or like a, a sports clip from like the NBA. So let's just say Shaquille O'Neal dunks on somebody or LeBron James does an, a sick pass or Kobe Bryant RIP does like his 81 shot or something. You can own a clip from that. And then I believe when it starts getting played or. If it starts getting used, you get a percentage of money and it builds and the clip grows and grows. It becomes like a, a collectible kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So I, as as <sighs> the more that that clip gets used or gets brought up about, talked about, the more you, I guess, can sell it or you have control over it. Yeah, and you have to buy a cryptocurrency like Ethereum to be able to start like... Um, getting it getting those yeah right i'm not reading the whole thing but i'm just skimming through the article that i'm seeing here bro this seems like the real new wave now your cryptocurrencies and different things like that yeah because now they're doing it with content mm -hmm. so like everything has been okay like stocks and you know uh i i, I guess that's a perfect way to put it it stocks in your content now mm. so if you have if you're a content creator and i know we're getting super nerdy but like Yo, for anybody that's listening and wants to take advantage of this, like this might be for you because you can now people can invest kind of, I guess, into your content. Yeah, that's what it would be because people are buying your content and using it. And let's just say episode of six views uncut episode mm -hmm. of we love hip hop. Everybody loves that biz look. Everybody loves that K money. Everybody loves that moolah, that presser like you can own a percentage in it now. Yeah. So the more views that get, you have the the behind the scenes of that. Yeah. You have probably the conversation that that was before. You know what I'm saying? We even started the interview or after the interview when we talked about certain things. Like, <laughs> I, I think it's more of like when people tap into that interview, now you get a piece of it. Mm -hmm. Right? So you don't even have to offer anything else. No, you don't have to. Right. But that, that also is like a, a feature that comes with it as well. Yeah, because like that's the kind of thing that Patreon and stuff has been getting people comfortable with for a minute now. Mm. Where like if you get a subscription to us, you get to see stuff that we, is not available on a regular channel. Mm. But you have to invest in us to be able to do that. Fact. You know what I'm saying? We can give you an uncut episode, all that type of shit. Papa. Patreon. You know what I'm saying? Patreon forwarding just now. Yeah, yeah. We, we got a Patreon page. We're just not using it, man. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. The, the, the things are coming just now. Mm. But yeah, it, it's just interesting how the world is just changing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we got to change with it, man. Yeah, man. I got to I gotta look into that a little bit more too, man. I, I, I was... You don't want to not know about shit when it's coming down the pipeline, fam. Yeah, exactly. And that's a, that's a good one that it seems like people... People won't jump on it ASAP. Because mm -hmm. it, it it's very confusing, especially when you get into the music aspect of it. it. It's a little bit more confusing, but like with the basketball and certain video contents, I understand it a little bit more. And I'm I'm me obviously into top shot just now, eh? Yeah. Facto. Plus he has no money though, I'm broke. We love hip hop doesn't pay me. I'm broke, baby. I'm broke, baby. Um little break tune. What you want for the break tune? Uh, whatever you want to slap up, man. Oh, what do I want? What do I want? What is Friday feeling for, man? Shout out Six Views of Cut. Make sure you like, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Is it the same? You were sitting Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this one, right here. I bought you for your head
time. So watch how you speak on my name, you know? For your bumblecock head time.